Hey, doing Stefan from Blue Bayou, and uh, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful sunny day, actually. It's a little windy, but the wind is on the water, and we're in the woods here, so it's all good. Uh, we're, we've been cleaning domes, like doing the uh, the spring cleanup, we like to call it, where we go around and we we just scrub every corner of this place. And believe me, once we, I get in there, I'm sure gonna smell strong <laughs> Zach is helping me doing that Zach actually has uh, experience in detailing cars so fits fits with the profile but yeah we're giving her a good clean Whew, smells like Javix in here <laughs> uh, bathrooms and everything we're not putting up beds right now the floor will probably just sweep it we're not going to clean it till we come in and we put the bed and put all the final fixing and then at that point we can uh, and put the the, the the draperies and from that point on then we can clean the these floors that we put in last year vinyl flooring all right another thing i'm doing so I'm using this carpet cleaner Oops, something's wrong with this right now. Uh, there you go. Put it back in place. We we'll use the wand, clean the walls. Uh, just does a great job. Takes all the dirt out. Another thing we're working on, we're putting all these uh, these water eaters, propane water eaters. That uh, we've been having problems with these over the past couple of years, and we try, we're doing something this year to uh, maybe fix the issue because we think that whenever we have problems is when it's raining or when it's windy. So hopefully this will uh, will fix it. And uh, so what I did is it's like a birdhouse really yeah. slide this down i need to do some settings that's for me to touch because i know the perfect settings for for it to work perfectly so pretty much don't want anybody else to, to deal with to touch that so what if i need to do to check it out i can do so i kind of i'll show you more details it's all nicely done we're just cutting pieces right now for this we're trying to repeat this 17 times well this is the 17th piece so we're trying to do this another 16 time and a little birdhouse hopefully no birds starts to live in there when that thing starts it's gonna get hot <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, the, the, the wind was uh, was kind of, well, you can see right now. Um, I'm just going to go like this. You can see the space. I can't see it because I don't see the screen. But um, it just it keeps the wind from going under, blowing anyway. So it can bring it down. So it's, it's got like got that much space there so you, all of that there's blocks in the bottom there so that it doesn't stay nice and square Oops. <laughs> and uh, yeah it keeps the wind from uh, the, turning the flame off so that was the issue now if I turn this on it works perfectly all right I will show you a little bit more when I'm in the uh, place where we're doing all these boxes. Uh, Stefan at the Bayou. It's me again. How you doing? Um, I'm in the... Uh, where I stock all my, my firewood. Uh, this is where I set up to do the... Uh, these boxes, these birdhouses. Let's call them birdhouses. So what I'm doing right now is I'm repeating everything. These are the blocks you saw there at the bottom. So I'm, I'm just building every pieces that we used at that box. I'm doing it 16 more times and I'm just making kits out of them so that I can go around and I'm using uh, 
Oh, right here. Uh, I'm using staples, one inch staple. Kind of a perfect thing for this. Make these boxes nice and solid. And once they're all done, maybe uh, later on, the finish on this product is, is these are the smart board. They're already prime. Um, it's uh, it's very durable. Some people, some people did sheds with this, and they said they never even painted the shed after eight years. It's still the same color. So uh, yeah, no, it's it's a pretty good product. And uh, funny enough, it's cheaper than than plywood right now. Uh, you could probably get one of these. I think it's three eight. It's a three eight. Again, you can see what I'm doing. I'm, I got two sheets. So when I cut, I can cut two sheets at in one shot. I got my lines made up. I'm repeating this guy. I've already got one of them there, one of them there, because there's two sides. This is one side. So I'm repeating it uh, another. I think I still need to do 10. So there's six there. I still need to do four after those six pieces. As in one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm gonna have to do the other side. Uh, how many do I have? I have one there, so that's 16. And then I got three, so I'm at 13. I have to do the other side 13 times. And the front and the back. And all the little trims. These are stuff that I put in there while ago so i have all these little blocks there that i can use to do the trims and those are uh, leftovers from uh, the cozy shack see what we're doing we're recycling again <laughs> well with the price of wood being so expensive it's good to uh, recycle and uh, and again this is the perfect material for this uh and also we got yesterday this is for is going to be for a little greenhouse that we're um that we purchase uh bought the greenhouse from it's called a o s o m awesome or something like that a o s o m it's not the first time i bought there it's like a, i think it, they're importers or something like that uh, if you go on their website, they got wow. They even have a hat right now for your phone, so it's pretty neat. But uh, yeah, no, I, I can't wait to get it done. It's called a House Sunny. It's right there, House Sunny. I haven't opened it yet, but got all the pipes, and I guess this is what's going over. It's actually really durable. I just can't wait to see it up. Uh, it's a little greenhouse. About 20 feet by 10 feet. Probably like 7 foot high or something like that. And it's going to be our weekend project. Uh, those are the tables from Costco, but I just put it on top. And so that's what I'm trying to do right now. <laughs> Reason we we bought a, gr a greenhouse is because we, Shen Chen cooks a lot of Chinese food. But there's no Chinese vegetables around here. <laughs> All right, we're we're gonna do tomatoes and zucchinis and and cucumbers and and but also uh, bok choy and some Chinese stuff anyway. Uh, green onions and I don't know, plenty of stuff. Mushrooms, probably. I don't know. I don't know. She bought. She got all the the stuff in the house. There, peppers and chili peppers and all that stuff. <laughs> she got all the, uh, the the seeds and she even started some. So I can't wait. Can't wait to see how that's gonna look. Um, so it's a new thing we're trying this year. Since the food is going up in price, might as well uh, do a little bit of growing at the same time. Uh, like again we're getting a mill too so we're going to be growing our own food and milling our own wood and uh yeah we're pretty much uh <laughs> we don't need anybody else soon enough here <laughs> but anyway yeah no that's we're trying to to use as much as we can the, the property and the sun and the 
we're doing the greenhouses. Hopefully that's uh, something that works for us. See if I have a green thumb. And if I do, well, all right. Have a good one. Stefan at the Bayou. Hey dude, it's Stefan Blue Bayou. Beautiful day again, it's Friday. So today I, well, today I did this yesterday. I didn't show it yet, so. Since I bought this trailer, I uh, had issue with the uh, tank. So I had an issue with this tank right here. It's always a little bit leaking down there somewhere because uh, the tank was old. The motor's still good, but uh, the tank, I guess, was uh, it's kind of uh, uh, rusted in this area. Around inside, you can see it better. It's always leaking, it's always making a mess, and, and there's times there I this thing wouldn't even go up all the way just because because uh, uh, because it's I didn't have enough oil, so then I'd be stuck with some stuff in there still that would come down. Uh, the other tank, this I didn't have the right connection. I was waiting for it all week and then I had to order it online. When I got it, I got this piece, but then this was not attaching to there. So I needed this piece here, which I picked up yesterday and or the day before and I installed everything yesterday. Now I got small, bigger, bigger and back small. Oh well, as long as it works and it works now. go the farm blue bayou i'm doing those uh, cabins for uh, to put on the uh, hot water uh, on demand propane system um so i cut all the pieces and I'll show you how quick it is to put one together once all the pieces are cut i'm building these guys that's a roof right there there's a panel right there in the front, like those you see right now. And the rest of the parts are right here. So I'm gonna set up the camera. Okay, so, oops, sorry about that. We're I'll put it right here, maybe. Okay. Take a look how that looks. Okay, so um, I got everything kind of ready right here. This I hardly use just in case I need it. So if you want to time me, see how quick it takes for me to do one of these, you can start right now. Go. just to brace the bottom.
glasses. I keep forgetting. You never know when you need something safe to in case something runs in your eyes or. safety glasses if you do anything like this don't do like I started off with and at the same time you'll look much cooler too <laughs> sometimes it's not how you look it's not how you how quick you do the job it's how you how you look doing it yet and nail one in place yet.
reason I got all, all these one inch staples mostly because I'm in the cab was in the cabinet business and built a lot of cabinets with staples. Used to buy the cabinets all prefab, well, well prefab. You just got a, you had it all in parts and you had to put it all together or in a box and use staples in the corners and all that. You put all the boxes together. So, still got plenty of that. That's how we do it. That's the bayou. Now I got, I think, 10 more to do. So we're looking at a couple hours. And domes. This is dome one and two. Those are the docks. We're gonna go in the water soon. Before we open anyway. So, uh, right here, this is where the water comes out. See, even with years, give it, it'll give it a bit more life because you can see that I might have to buy to replace this one at one point. Maybe this is on its last leg or last year. So as long as it's working, I have some spare ones. I have like two, three spare ones just to make sure because you never know, right? You have to change. I have changed at least one or two a year. Uh, so this is what I did. So when it's windy, right now when it's windy, this, that one, the, the flame was shutting off. There's too much wind. And, and then if it's too wet in there, it's too humid. It just didn't start. It didn't start at all. The way these things work is... Uh, you got batteries right there. There's two uh, two C or D batteries, I don't remember. And whenever you turn the water on, it detects uh, water pressure. Once it detects water pressure, when you turn the water on, a hot water on, there's water that goes through here into a coil, and then it comes out here. Once there's water going through the system, it detects it with the batteries, and the batteries goes tick, 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 tick. There's a flame that starts, and then you start getting hot water. It's kind of a neat system, because you got hot water whenever it's not a tank, so as long as you're, you need water, you should have hot water, or as long as you have propane, you should have hot water. Now, let me just put this guy back. Oh. So this is what I'm doing like 17 times because we do have 17 domes. Okay. And then the exhaust is right there. So that's why I keep that open. But you know, it's it's kind of in. It's in by a couple of inches right here. And if it rains, it's got to rain pretty much sideways like that for it to get wet. Well, still may, may happen, but what are the chances that it's going to happen every time it rains? <laughs> All right.